In 72 hours, the internet made this piece of art. Behind it lies collaboration, alliances, enemies, friendship and internet culture. This is our place. On April Fool's Day in 2017, Reddit announced Place, a big empty canvas. Anyone could place a pixel from a set color palette. You would then have to wait for a couple of minutes until you could place another pixel. This might seem like a slow process if you wanted to create some pixel art by yourself. And yes, it was very slow. But if you collaborated with others, you could create wonders. And so it all started. Subreddits began promoting themselves. Countries started to paint their flags. Well, some tried at least. A blue corner wanted to submerge the canvas. And others just wanted to create oh, pretty God, patterns. Quality. Even if you didn't have anyone to collaborate with, someone would probably understand what you were trying to create and help <laughs> you out. Or they would just flat out destroy it. Who zoomed in? In order to preserve your own piece of art, alliances were made. <laughs> yeah. By becoming an ally with someone, you agreed to not destroy each other's work. And this was serious business. Many subreddits made their own Discord chat groups to discuss what to create <laughs> and who to collaborate with. Even diplomats were made and sent to other Discord channels for negotiation. What had started as a simple pixel art game had now turned into a serious war scene. You see, our place wasn't all about friendship and happy thoughts. Enemies were made, especially with the country flags. Two infamous examples are when Sweden took over Denmark's flag and oh my when God, Germany swept that was just over BM, France. Dude. You just... Later on, they created an EU flag with a peace dove. Oh. And who could forget dude, the void? Literal. They, 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 they reenacted like a literal to fill war. The with black pixels, but failed. We also had the controversial Osu logo, who many claimed to be way too big stopping others from creating their own pixel art. Country flags were also hungry for space, especially Sweden. But with negotiations, they kept some art. For example, this one, the flag of Maryland. Sweden and Maryland Reddit? became good friends. Even after our place ended, this picture was posted on Reddit as a sign of their friendship. <laughs> it was also a common sight to see hearts between the borders of the flags. Truly beautiful, but enough flags. It's cool to Our see how much of that carried over. Our place is essentially internet culture in a nutshell. Video games, a Windows taskbar, classic cartoon series, oh, the taskbar animes, was there too. film culture, TV series, music labels, and sport teams. They are all present. However, even classic art pieces such as Mona Lisa and Starry Night survived or the 72 Lisa? hours of <laughs> pixel madness. Our place shows us how humans interact with each other. We are all eager for more space for ourselves, but in the end we all want to create something great together as a community. One thing that strikes me is that there's no sign of hate symbolism to be seen, which is fantastic. Faith in humanity is restored. So if you ask the internet to create something beautiful, this is what happens. A colorful canvas yeah, the filled with to creative the internet. art, kind of made possible this. by collaborating, becoming allies and enemies, creating friendships, and referencing internet culture. Our place quickly became our place. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you for watching. With so many colors and small pieces of art, our place kind of looks like the million dollar homepage. Back in 2005, a guy created a website where you could buy one pixel for one dollar. The page eventually sold out, and this is the result. Wow. Free hosting. See, that's a little better because if you buy it, it's yours, right? I don't know if they would let you buy a different pixel so you wouldn't actually cover anybody else. Right? It was just like. All out war.